as Billy here with Moving Movement, and today I'm going to show you the easiest time I ever had installing solar panels. Now, if I were to do it all over again, I would have installed the bracket solar panels. I would have did it before I put my roof in, but hindsight is always 2020. What I did end up doing was putting flexible solar panels because I thought it would be easier and equally as efficient. Turns out solar panels are not as efficient as regular monocrystal solar panels which everyone told me online, but for some reason I, I resisted it and I went the easier way. So I was supposed to be getting like around 11 amps, 12 amps of efficiency from it. I was pulling in like four or five at most, so I was not getting what I want. So I bought new solar panels. If I was really smart, I would have kept these on and just put these on in the back, but that's not how my brain works. What I ended up doing was taking these off, buying two, putting them on, realizing I probably do need more energy than that, so I bought two more of these anyways. So here we are. So this is for if you want to put solar panels on your roof without drilling through your roof. So I already have two on there. I'm going to show you how I put these two on there. It is very fast, it's very efficient, and they're strong as hell. Now I will say there's a caveat. I haven't taken this on the road yet, so I'm not sure how they do it in the wind. But I can promise you, after me trying to yank it off the ground, they are very, very sturdy and they're very easy to install. So let me show you guys what that looks like. So for this, like I said, super easy. You only need four things. You need a caulk gun. You need this 252 adhesive. Super durable stuff. Now, I used about one of these, or about three quarters for one panel. I'm sure you could do it in a more efficient way, but to be safe, I would probably buy two of these for two solar panels. You need the solar panels. And the last thing you need are these bracket connectors. All right, these are like 30 bucks off Amazon. They're super easy to use. How it works is you're supposed to. This is two pieces, one top, one bottom. They come apart. You're supposed to put them on the solar panel and then screw them in. But I found a much easier way to do it. I just screwed in first. I put some caulk on the inside, on the inside of the grip thing, whatever you call this, and then I put it on the corner. I press it down for a couple seconds. It usually sticks to the adhesive. I put it on all sides, and then I simply take more caulk, put it on the bottom side, and I just lay it on top of the roof. And once I leave it there for like a good couple minutes, it's already a little firm. I put some extra caulk or adhesive around the edges and then it's basically done guys. So it's a very simple process, it's very fast. The only challenging part is like you'll see on the roof, I'll show you, not my roof especially, is it on the Dodge Promaster. It's not a flat roof, it's got the ridges in it. So the only hard part of this whole process is just making sure it, this, this thing lines up on the ridges. So I'll show you guys what it looks like, but like I said, very easy to do, very fast, very efficient, very strong. Now I will say, what you're supposed to do, which I was told on the internet, you'll see, there's some screws on the top of this. You're supposed to put it on the corner, take a drill bit, first mark it on the solar panel, because there's no holes here, right? Mark the spot, take a drill, drill through it, and then you put a screw through. They provide screws, they're a little long, but they do work. And then it makes you actually extra secure. I didn't have a drill, to drill through the solar panels, and I also thought that's a very small margin to work with. So maybe you have bigger solar panels, minor from energy, so there's not a whole lot of room. So I didn't feel comfortable drilling into the solar panel. So I used the adhesive. I didn't use a shit ton of adhesive for the inside. I just put a healthy amount right here, and then I gripped it on. That way, if a solar panel ever breaks down, I can unscrew the side part, take it off, and I can still just pull the solar panel off the adhesive because I didn't use so much. So that's how you're supposed to do it. If you want to do it the smart way, if your solar panel has enough room on the edges, then I suggest drilling through. If you have very thin solar panels like I do for this, and you don't want to risk drilling through it, then I would do it the way I did it, and just put a little bit of adhesive on the inside and the bottom, press it on, hold it for a good minute, let it dry a little bit, and then put it on. So up to you, it's your life. You do what you want. Alright guys, this is all you do. 
you get the thing. I actually put this in the oven at 250 degrees for like maybe like two to three minutes just to heat it up a little bit because otherwise it's an absolute pain in the ass to squirt out. So heating up a little bit makes it a lot easier. Be careful how long you put it in there for though. I don't want to be liable for that. Just put a little bit in here. Again, I don't want to put a whole lot just in case the solar panel doesn't end up breaking down. I can still yank it off of it. That spot. Put it under. And then I just press and hold for a good minute. That'll help it get stuck initially. And that's it. Just do the same thing for all four corners. And then we're gonna flip it over and do the underside and then we lay it on. So we flipped it over now. Now we just gotta do the bottom sides, flip it back over and this lay down, hold it down for a good minute or two and then put some extra sealant around the outsides. Now don't be afraid to put a lot here, all right? This is the most important part, getting it on the underside. There we go. About that much. And that's it. Same thing, all four, all six sides. Flip it over, hold it down. Okay, every side has the adhesive on it. Now we flip it over and stick it down and hopefully get the right spot. you didn't get it good enough, I would just go around with extra caulk or extra uh, adhesive and just put it on the outsides, especially if it's hanging off something so it has something to sit on top of. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So that's it guys. Very quick, very efficient too. I wish I had thought of this before I did the flexible solar panels, but you know, it got done in the end. So now it's going to dry. I take the van out, I test it out, and hopefully it lasts as long as people, people have been saying they last, but if you guys are looking to add solar panels to your roof and you already put the roof on the inside of the van, like you messed up like I did, this is the best solution i found and I wish I would have found it in the first place because I would have just done this in the first place, but oh well. I love the way it turns out now, I love the way it works, and I'm happy I found it. So that's it guys. Hope it got some knowledge out of this. If not, no worries. Life goes on. Then have a good day and make good choices.